This is the 100% cotton shirt that we're going to be using in this video. I found this great image on Creative Fabrica that I want to put on a shirt for my husband. It's a 100% cotton shirt. And so I'm going to be using iron on HTV heat transfer vinyl, and it is going to be glow in the dark because you can sublimate on glow in the dark. You put the glow in the dark vinyl down on the cotton shirt, and then you add your sublimation image to that. And I picked this image for a couple reasons. First of all, let's go to layout options here. You can see that I've chosen eight and a half by 14, and I've got it set to portrait, and my margins are set to zero. As you can see, I have stretched this image out because it actually comes in you know, something like this, but I want it bigger on his shirt. So I have stretched it out and I chose this image for a couple of reasons. Number one, if I click on this and I go to picture format, you'll see that I can see the exact height right here and the exact width. And I need that because when I pull this image into my Cricut uh, design space, I got to know the exact size that I'm going to be cutting here. I'm actually gonna stretch this, maybe make that 13.5 by eight and a half. So now I am going to go into my printer settings and I'm gonna print this. So I'm gonna to go to print and that's the wrong printer here. So I'm gonna pick my Epson Tank 2760 that I've converted over to sublimation printing by adding sublimation ink we want to make sure we have premium presentation paper mat we want to have high quality then we're going to go under more options and under image options we want emphasize more emphasize thin lines hit okay we're going to turn high speed off and we're going to mirror our image then hit okay and then i'm going to be going and printing this So now I am in my Cricut design space and I am going to upload the image that I used for my sublimation image. And so it is this one, fixed stuff, I know things, and I am going to bring this in. I'll hit complex here, continue. And I am going to apply and continue. And now I'm going to do a cut image for this. And then I'm going to upload this. I'm not using the print and cut feature. I do have a maker three, but I don't like the print and cut. So I'm going to add this image to my canvas. And now I am going to change the size here. Unlock this. And I'm going to change the sides to 8.5. And I'm going to change the height to 13.5 because that's what we had. So there we have it. This is our image now that I am going to cut. So I'm going to leave this here and I'm going to hit make it. I don't have my maker hooked up yet, but um. I don't think I'm going to be using without a mat. I will be doing on a mat, 12 by 24, confirm. And I just want to see that it's all right here. That is it. So I am going to go and cut this. Now, before I go and cut this, we want to make sure that we're going to be mirroring this. We want to mirror this image so that when we go to cut it and we lay it on the shirt, it's gonna be the right way. So make sure that you turn mirror on. And then we're gonna hit continue. Now that we've got that uh, HTV on the mat, shiny side down, we are going to cut this. So I am going to go here, we want iron on. Um, I probably use the everyday iron on setting and we'll use uh, the default pressure here. All right, I'm going to load this in and we will get cutting.
When I was going to print my sublimation image, I noticed that some of the letters would have had little cuts in them. So I did scale that down a bit before I printed my sublimation image. So there is a slight offset on this, but I'm okay with that because that way a little more glow in the dark will show. And this is what it looks like after it came out of the Cricut. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this up a bit. There's no need to be wasting um, HTV. So I'm rolling this up to about 13 and a half, and that's where I'm going to cut it off. I like to do my weeding for HTV while it's still on the mat. It's easier to see. This white vinyl is very hard to see the lines. So if you start pulling back, you'll see it start to tear away and you're actually weeding as you're going and so it makes it a lot easier so I just leave it right on the cutting mat. So here you can see that I've, I'm done weeding this image and it is still on the carrier sheet and the carrier sheet is still down on the cutting mat. I did leave a few pieces in here that I did not weed out and I did that intentionally so that it will hold some of the sublimation ink in that spot. So now it's time to warm up your press and I always pre-press my cotton or anything else that I am either using HTV on or that I am using sublimation straight onto the cloth. I always pre-press to remove any moisture. And I'm using the HTV Rant Auto Press for this. The HTV Rant Auto Press is 15 by 15 so that I am able to put this 14 inch image on to the pressing mat nicely. And so what I'm doing here now is I am centering the image on the shirt after I pre-pressed it. Now I have covered my carrier sheet with a Teflon sheet and I'm going to press this at 305 degrees for 10 seconds. I did a warm peel on this and it came off nicely. I always trim my sublimation images down so that there is no stray ink that caught from the rollers. And so now I'm lining up that sublimation image and I'm lightly taping that onto the shirt, being careful not to touch any of the HTV. And I'm using heat resistant tape for this. I've raised the temperature on the heat press to 385 degrees and I'm gonna be pressing this 385 degrees for 30 seconds and I do use that Teflon sheet again. Now you're going to want to let this cool a bit. Here it is after pressing and you are not going to want to peel it when it's hot because it's going to stick to your vinyl. So what I do is a warm to a cool peel, a little more on the warm side. Like I said, some of the paper may stick. So all you need to do is get a clean wet cloth and gently wipe the paper off of the vinyl. Here it is after I've gotten all of the paper off, which did it only took a matter of about 30 to 40 seconds to do this. Now I'm going to wash it right away and dry it because I want you to see the results. This is after washing and drying. I do leave it a little damp because it's 100% cotton and I didn't want it to shrink. But as you can see, that held the ink and I washed this right away within 10 minutes of pressing it. And then I also took it in the closet and I turned the lights out so that you can see the effect of the glow in the dark HTV. I really like this. Now, like I said, it's a little offset because I did shrink that image down after I worked on it in Word before I printed it. And so I do like the offset. It looks really good. And it also gives the HTV, the glow in the dark HTV, the opportunity to glow. All in all, I would say this project is a win. It was very simple to do.
Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel and you will find links below in the description for items that I've used. Have a great day.